When we see these senseless traffic deaths, um, they hit home in so many different ways, um, and they're particularly um, just, just frustrating and sad because we know they're preventable. You know, it's so important to recognize that these deaths are, you know, terrible for the families experiencing them, um, life-changing for so many, um, and thoroughly preventable if we take the right steps as a community, as a city, in partnership um, to, to prevent them. Roadway safety does not begin and end with one agency, one driver, or one pedestrian. It takes all of us working together to get to our destination safely. Last year, Ada County didn't have a pedestrian or bicyclist fatality until October. This year and since January, we've had one nearly every single month. One death is too many, and this many crashes and fatalities is unspeakable. This has been one of the deadliest years on our ACHD roads in Ada County's history, and it has to stop. We know the large majority of safe drivers drive safely not just to avoid a ticket, but because they know it's the right thing to do and they care about our community. That's why we are imploring everyone today to slow down, put away the distractions, and watch out for your fellow drivers, motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians. For those who are motivated to do uh, the safe driving thing only out of fear of getting a ticket, I would implore you to rethink your position. If you're willing to drive safely to avoid a traffic citation, shouldn't you be willing to drive safely to save somebody's life, whether that's your own or somebody else's? The summer months between Memorial Day and Labor Day are often known to us, at least, as the 100 deadliest days of summer because we have more people killed in traffic crashes and collisions than any other time in the year. Why this uptick in fatal crashes this year? The mayor mentioned last year by October we hadn't had any and now we've had eight. What are the factors that have changed? Is it that we have not, we've had a reduced number of officers enforcing? Is it that all of a sudden the roads have become less safe? Or is it more likely that we have that influx of people in the last 10 years that have come into this community and we have more trips each day on our roadways? And I would say from anecdotal uh, experience, not necessarily based on statistics, I would say we are seeing more people not obeying the laws and the uh, rules of the road. And if I had to point to one thing that I would think would be the biggest contributor, it's people not taking personal responsibility. Sometimes it's the pedestrian's fault because they're walking in a traffic way in a dark night. Sometimes it's the driver's fault. Sometimes it's the bicyclist's fault. Sometimes it's a combination of all of those things. But you ask what we can do today, every single one of us in this crowd and whoever may be watching or listening at some point has the ability to make an impact. And the way you do that is change your behavior. Not every single person here is a very careful driver. I would go out on a limb and say, we can all make improvements. We talk about public policy. We talk about engineering. We talk about the partnerships. Those are all the things that government is doing to try to impact this problem. But there is something that each of us can do that almost guarantees the problem will go away because we didn't have one last year, right? We can look at better ways to, uh, to respond and approach these issues, but every single person can look at their behavior, their contributing factors, and make a change. And we should all be willing to do that regardless of our position and regardless who we are, because that's what will make the biggest difference in the quickest amount of time to reduce these crashes and collisions that are happening.